Okay, so exam question, area of sector, area of triangle, uh, trigonometry. So this question, we need to find the shaded area. So to do this, we need to do two steps. So the first one is going to be to find the area of this sector here. So we need to use... 72 divided by 360 times pi times the radius, which is 5.4 squared. So this is for area of the sector, the circle. And uh, if we put this into the calculator, so 72 divided by 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 5.4 squared and we have 18.321 so I'm going to write 18.3217 uh, so 18.321 and it was 76 so I'm going to write 8 so that is what we have for the sector. Now we need to find, so that's like the first stage, and the second stage is to find the area of this triangle. So we're going to use trigonometry to do that. So if I redraw my triangle, so we know this is 72, we know this is 5.4 and this is 5.4, and uh, I'm going to use the area is a half AB sine C. So I'm going to label my uh, triangle. So I'll call this C, little C. I call this A, little A, and B, little B. So put into a formula half times 5.4 multiplied by 5.4 and then sine of 72. In the try if I put this into the calculator, so I'll have a half multiplied by 5.4 multiplied by 5.4, and then this is multiplied by sine 72, uh, 13.866. So 13.866. Six and it was eight six six four. So I'm going to keep it rounded to uh, four decimal places so I don't have a rounding error. So this is centimeters squared. On the final step, to calculate the area of the shaded segment, well, I need to find the difference between. So this is going to be the area of the sector minus the triangle so we're going to have 18.3218 minus 13.8664 okay so i have 4.4554 so the area is equal to put four point 4.4554 and we need to answer it to three significant figures so this is going to be 4.46 4, 6 centimeters squared to three significant figures I'm just going to move that So we put that over there. Okay, so this is a five mark question, so it's really important that you show your workings and label your steps to make sure you get full marks.